Well, around two months after a tornado ripped through Slidell, St. Tammany starts a new chapter in debris removal. That's right, and Rob Masson gives us a look at the progress there. St. Tammany officials bring in a huge air curtain to begin open pit burning of debris from the tornado several weeks ago as the recovery continues here in Slidell. So the air curtain essentially just blows smoke over the top of the hole. We dug a pit here uh, at our property here off of TJ Smith Senior Expressway, um, a 15 foot, 18 foot hole, uh, putting all the debris in there. Off TJ Smith Expressway north of Slidell, the burn process begins for 15,000 pounds of trees, branches, and leaves pulled from once leafy Slidell neighborhoods. It was bad. <laughs> trees that shouldn't have come down came down. On Pontchartrain Boulevard at Old Spanish Trail, A.J. Gilliatt shops for rebuilding supplies after a storm that changed the face of his business and this four-lane roadway. Here is what this block looked like when the tornado struck April 10th. Here's what it looks like today. Sled is really good about getting back together, you know, whether it's a tornado or a hurricane or flooding. The tornado blew out windows, tore off roof sections, and forced employees to huddle in an office two months ago. But after being shut down for 10 days, Pontchartrain Ace is back open. It's all going good because everybody's ready to get back to normal. Parish officials say debris removal is just about complete, but not everyone is back in their homes or businesses. The state offered uh, some assistance for housing as well. Uh, there was about 30 people who needed that temporary housing because their homes were damaged, their apartments may have been damaged. Ray Stoltz is glad his store has reopened and able to help people as they rebuild. Well, oh, it's meant a lot. But other nearby businesses on Pontchartrain Boulevard may not ever return. From Slidell, Rob Messon, Fox 8 Local First.